Since my very first visit here, I was really struck by the warmth of the community and it's a really special school. I'm Nicola Dudley and my home is in Edinburgh. Um, I'm originally brought up near London in Hertfordshire. Studied down south, Hertfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Oxford, and then went up to Edinburgh to do teacher training and that's Scotland's been home ever since. Recent period overseas, a few years in, in Hong Kong, a few years in, in Switzerland, but looking forward to coming back to my roots here in the UK. Generally, I start with a good cup of quality coffee and, and then I feel set up for the, for the day ahead. I've always really enjoyed outdoor sports, challenging myself physically, running, hiking, open water swimming. I also, I was very fortunate at school to really do a lot of music. So that's really instilled a, a love of music, which has stayed with me. A lot of classical music, but I also enjoy listening to some Scottish folk music. Wherever I've been, Scottish music gives me that warm feeling of home. Well, I was studying French and German at Oxford and as part of my degree, I had to take a year out uh, and I spent that year teaching English in France in a couple of schools and I just loved it. And I hadn't thought about teaching before that experience and I came back and I signed straight up for a PGCE and haven't looked back since. It's seeing the pupils from the very opening contact when you're at the admission stage, then coming into the school and watching them grow and flourish and seeing what they're capable of. Never underestimate what the pupils are capable of. And it's also having real opportunity to really impact and influence uh, the quality of education and make sure that we get it right for absolutely every pupil. Particularly of a small school, that's why I like being head of a small school, you're able to balance knowing the students really individually whilst also uh, leading the school forward. So I was in an all-girls school throughout my, my schooling and as I've grown older, I've increasingly recognised the impact of that all-girls education on, on me as a person and my inner confidence. All-girls schools provide that nurturing, supportive environment to enable girls to grow and flourish and be themselves and, and find their passions. And in a small school, on top of that, we're really able to make sure that every girl receives the right support that they need pastorally and is uh, nurtured to, to achieve her absolute best. It's a really special school, uh, which really caters to the needs of, of every girl with kind of academic excellence, with choice, uh, together with the fantastic and talented arts and, uh, and sports, embracing all of that and uh, building on the strengths of the schools so that it is the, the school of choice. Books. I always look forward to the holidays when I can just sit and relax with a good pile of books. My running shoes. I really miss running when I can't run. It's my escape. It's the way I clear my head. And then thirdly, colour. Uh, I do like to, to bring a bit of colour to the day and, and to bring a bit of brightness to the day. I have successfully competed in three Ironman long distance competitions. Hours and hours of training and a huge commitment, but fantastic experiences. So I always use that as an example to say, set yourself ambitious, crazy goals and, and go for it. Well, my mother was a Yorkshire girl, uh, and so I'm looking forward to taking a trip down memory lane and, and revisiting some of the childhood places uh, we used to visit whenever I visited my grandmother. And also the, the location, I think it's got the best of both worlds, the beautiful countryside, the towns and cities. Energetic, resilient and gutsy. I'm just really looking forward to, to getting here, to meeting everyone, to getting to know everyone within the QM family in the widest sense, uh, to really getting to know the school in all its intricacies uh, and to really working with everyone to take the school forward uh, into the next stage of its development. So I can't wait to get stuck in.